David Balson, Battle Tested. Uh, once again, I'm trying to make a go of this, so I'd appreciate all your help. If you hit that subscribe button, that notification button, that like button, that this button, that that button, make a name for me. All right, cool. Okay, so the realist, being realistic, as if I can say this, uh, I'm going to leave that in the fuck it. Um, being realistic, I'm not talking to you professional athletes out there. I'm talking to your average Joe or your average Jane who's just looking to make improvements. I'm not talking about somebody that needs to make some minuscule adjustments to their body to achieve absolute perfect results. Ronnie Coleman has not hit me up for information. That said, there's a lot of things that can be done that little changes that go a long ways in our everyday workouts. Uh, the thing about the muscle is all the muscle fibers have an origin and an insertion point. And those work to do a lot more than just flex in and out, lift big weights and put them down. Uh, like the pec, the pec muscles, there's two muscles, blah, 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 I'll go into that later. But they're not just about bringing the, the arm across or pushing up or different things. It actually, because of where it in, inserts into the humerus, the upper arm of the upper part of the arm, it actually controls the supination of the arm, which I'm going to talk about. And I'm going to get into a lot more detail when I start talking about um, exercise to do to maximize results. Again, I'm not going to give you some super tricky, high tech. I'm not going to put you on branching aminos. Um, I'm going to give you just some little sound advice, make some small adjustments to make the workouts that we all normally do to make them just a little bit better to achieve a little bit better results. And that's what it's all about. Uh, one of the things you're going to hear me preach a lot about is consistency. Doing it. Just doing it. Um, you lose it or lose it. Uh, I'm watching my mother, part of what's going on right now, I'm watching my mother turn, she turns 85 in October and having some issues with health. She fell for her health recently and lying in bed and she's just atrophying, just atrophying away. Um, we're trying to work with her to get her up and around. And I keep trying to tell her that for at her age and at my age and, and people around my age, all these little things take a lot larger effect. Um, my 25-year-old nephew, 26-year-old nephew, if he gets hurt, man, he can be laid up for he can be laid up for six months and probably needs to not see one ounce of harm. Step right back into it. Uh, as you get older, that makes a big difference. Um, you have to maintain the use of the muscle. It's consistency, day in, day out, whether you feel like it or not. And I do believe in rest. I'm gonna talk a lot about rest and stuff, but the consistency of staying on it and moving those muscles. And again, it's not, we're not looking to, nobody on my channel is probably gonna be the next minister on Like I said, Ronnie Coleman, give me a call. Um, but we all wanna make gains. We all wanna make our, our workouts maximize what we're gonna do. So uh, when I start doing this thing for real, um, I will start going into detail about how the muscles work, why you turn certain ways, and I will give a pretty good description, pretty good scientific description of how the muscles, its origin and insertion, and how to get the most out of what we do. All right, I think that's it for now. David Balsam, Battle Testing. I'm out.